The first question I think that every Canadian and every Albertan has to ask is, is the status quo really working for us? Is, is this a functional and, and working democracy where, where the individuals are actually respected? Um, we, we have a prime minister who talks about, oh, let's tolerate, we need more tolerance or we need, you know, uh, more acceptance and, and I, I disagree. We need more respect one for another. We need to respect those individuals who want to exercise their own beliefs, their own thoughts, their own businesses and that respect is lost. There's, there's very little respect uh, from our current government for Alberta, Alberta Industries and Alberta entrepreneurs and uh, the status quo isn't good enough. The number two question I'd say that to ask yourself is do you really want a central government making all the decisions that they are making on our behalf, giving us these rules and regulations, telling us what we can do and what we can't do, uh, deciding which, which programs they should be subsidizing and which ones they should be shunning. Uh, I, I'm just gobsmacked when I look at Ottawa and the decisions they're making, everything from the WE to our Environmental Act uh, to his uh, appealing to the UN. It's just alarming to me and, and it's wrong. We live in a very dysfunctional and a broken relationship right now. One where might is right, where the majority uh, can impose their beliefs, their values on other areas and there's very little respect for one region over the other. But to Albertans and those uh, in Western Canada that, that feel alienated as well, I, I really sincerely ask you to, to take a step back and ask the questions, is the status quo the way we should go? And should Ottawa really be the, the center of our lives in deciding on what we are doing and what we can do in the future? And it, it's alarming to me. Everything from COVID-19 and the way they're handling it, the misinformation that's going out there, the flip-flopping on information, uh, they need to uh, hand that out and then let us make some own, our own decisions. But I, I'd ask you to, to go to our website, to wildrose.party, and go, go through that and look and see what you think because we need a new constitution, one that actually protects the individual, their life, their freedom, their property, their pursuit of happiness. And wow, where, where could we be with what we have if we actually had a constitution that protected those things and, and we got the intrusion of government out. We actually had a constitution that limited the size and the scope of government that, that said, you know what, uh, April 1st is going to be our tax freedom day, not, not June or July. We, we actually need to get stuff uh, in order and, and to be independent again and that's what was the strength of our company, of our country and it can be the strength in the future. But appreciate those of you that are taking the time to watch this and uh, wish you the best and like I say, go to wildrose.party. I uh, would love to hear from you. But thank you and uh, enjoy the fall. Commentary That Matters is a partner program of Conversations That Matter. The production of this show is made possible thanks to your generous support. Please become a Patreon at patreon.com forward slash commentary that matters. And become a subscriber so that you don't miss a single episode of Commentary That Matters.